Today I'm making a spicy chicken sandwich and if you enjoy the video I appreciate it if you would like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Let's start off by showing you how to make the hot sauce mix that goes on the sandwich. All right, first thing we're gonna do is start off with the Hellman's mayonnaise. Now, what we're gonna need on this is about three quarter of a cup in my measuring tool that fits in here. Well, slightly fits in here. I'll have to do it three times. Here we are. So the next thing we're gonna do is put in some, down here, I have Louisiana hot sauce. Different states have different sauces, but this one here, you can't go wrong. So we're going to add one tablespoon of this good stuff. Here we are. That's beautiful. There is nothing wrong with some hot sauce. Last ingredient is a Creole seasoning. And I'm putting in approximately about, I mean, a half a tablespoon. Here we are. And then we're gonna start mixing it up. It's got that nice little red tint to it. Now what you wanna do is make this before you make your chicken, because you want it to sit together in the fridge, let all them different tastes combine and get cooled off. Now, get a little taste test. That's got some good kick to it. Mmm, that is delicious. So you know what? I want a little bit more hot sauce. A little bit more Tony's. All right, mix that up. Like I said, you can use different seasonings, but what you want is about an end result looking like this. So all you do now is take that, put the lid on it, stuff it in the fridge, and good to go. Now we're battering. First thing we're gonna do is put in the all-purpose flour. And I've got one cup of that. The second ingredient is three quarter cup of cornstarch. Here we go. Now we're gonna put the uh, uh, mixture of cayenne pepper, uh, paprika, salt, pepper, uh, we're going to use garlic powder, and last but not least is onion powder. So we're going to mix all that together. Let's get you a tool, make sure it's all the way blended. Look at it. Let's make sure all the way down, because what we want to do is make sure all of our chicken is well coated. Now, I had already taken the chicken out of the fridge. It's been sitting in there for about five hours all together now. So if you're gonna start this off, get that chicken going in the morning and uh, come back in the afternoon and get the rest of your ingredients ready. And we will start by pulling the first piece of chicken out. I'm gonna lay that in here. The easy way for me always has been just to kind of sprinkle it, get everything dry on top of it before moving forward. Now it's easier to touch. Continue to use your spoon, put it all on top. You want to do it both sides. Now I'm going to show you how to do a couple of these, and I'll show you what they look like at the very end after they're all done. Okay, now that is well covered. So we're just gonna take that and lay it in the pan. We're just gonna let it sit there. Get our next piece of chicken ready. Okay. Get it coated all on one side. Flip it on over and then do the other side. That's looking good. All right, got two of them done. And we'll come back in a little while and we'll show you what the whole batch looks like. 
We've got the chicken outside. If you see the flowering, it started turning color, which is getting wet, which is exactly the way you wanted it. Three to five minutes, letting the chicken sit on here with the seasoning is perfect. Now I've got the oil temperature right at 350 degrees. So we're gonna move forward from here and start laying the chicken in. Check these out. It's been right at five minutes. Oh yeah, they got that look. They are good. They are pretty. Now we're gonna let them sit here and drip dry just a couple seconds, and then we're gonna move them to my pan. First step on that beautiful fried chicken. I just want to show you one more time how beautiful that turned out. Now we're gonna take it. We're gonna lay the cheese on it. This is Swiss cheese. We want to lay it on the chicken while it's a little bit warm because we want the Swiss cheese to melt. And then we're going to come back, add many more ingredients. Got the buns ready to go, got my butter ready to go. We're going to brown these up. Really? Spray them up a little bit, throw them on the griddle. We want to get a, a nice little crispy crust at the bottom. It's toasted look. I got four bonds I'm doing. Got four people in my family. They're gonna be even good as soon as this gets done. Now it doesn't take long for these buns to get brown. So I'm just gonna throw them on the griddle and uh, we're gonna meet you inside when they're ready. All right. 